You're doing your post 10 o'clock blue set. Yeah, well, it's more <laughs> too. I can let loose now. I did the smoke or khaki, I did the fresh line gang. It's better be good. There's nothing in the deleted scene. I think the thing with like sort of when you make cut, there's nothing in the deleted scenes of Sean or Hot Fuzz World then that I wish were back in there. None of it. It's always that thing where it's a slightly painful thing, but then once you do it, it's like you know, it's like an amputation, and she sort of feels a lot better with it gone. And it's like as soon as it's gone, it never goes back in. As soon as you make that cut, you never go. You know what? Let's try it back in again. So I think I, there's nothing that I. Um, there's nothing I would put back in. I don't think any of them, like, I'm a director's cut. So it doesn't feel good to cut stuff out, doesn't it? Sometimes yeah. it, it's liberating to kill your babies, kind of. You know, you think, that, even if the scene went well, you just think, oh, wait a minute, if we lift that out. There was one scene in, in The World's End that just lifted right out, and it was a little moment at the B&B when they arrive, and Gary gets upset because he doesn't have a minibar, and the, all the other guys, and it's a little just prelude to them going out for the night, and it just lifted straight out. It didn't affect, we didn't have to, alter the film in any way to change the story. The whole story was just there. But we realised if that came out, the whole thing kind of felt a little pacier and that's what it needed, right? I think there's more things actually in this one that we did a couple of pickups and stuff. I think that's more actually what it is. It's not actually hardest cuts, it's more like we need something else. And in, in all three of the movies we did little bits of filming after we'd wrapped. In Shaun the Dead we did stuff six months later, like when, you know, Whip and Tuttle finally agreed to give us a bit more money because the end sequence where the army turn up and there was nothing. Like on the night that we shot it, like the sun came up and I was screwed. And it's like I don't have enough coverage. I have some wide shots and that's it. Like it was a really slow start to the day. It's one of those summer nights where you have six hours, haven't got it. Same thing weirdly with the bit where the granny gets kicked in hot fuzz. The sun was going down. We sort of got basic coverage, but we didn't have it. And it was something I could very clearly say to work with us. I need to get. I just need a stuntman and I need Kenneth Branham, and I need that lady, and I need like a hedge, and I need to go in and shoot some close-ups. So all of the close-up bits, including the shot of the shoe going into the face, was done afterwards. And that's something when you look at it, you know on the day that you don't have the scene. And it's usually British weather, it's usually like the sun's gone down, that's it. And there was another one on this, is that actually... Yeah, the sun goes down all over the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like the weather is usually pretty bad, it's very changeable, so like you're kind of like, you're, you're you know, consistently sort of screwed with the, the weather in the UK. Same with this, we actually reshot a scene that we'd done entirely in day, the bit when they're walking down the street to the doors, we shot that in day, and it was a disaster. There was various technical issues, didn't have the coverage, and so all the way through the shoot, I was thinking, that scene's a disaster, we have to redo that. And we didn't get a chance to do it until, like, a couple of weeks after we'd wrapped, and then we went back and did it, but did it at night. And Bill Pope was saying to me, like, I, I wanted to do it at dusk, and I was saying, oh, I wanted to do it like dusk, I wanted to look like a hammer film, like day for night, and he was saying, I, I really don't think it's going to work, it would be much better if we did it at night. And like, he was completely right, and I said, Listen. and when I saw it, it was like, the difference between the scenes is literally day and night. <laughs> it's like, it's like, in fact, if you look at the trailer, you can see a couple of shots from the first uh, take of the scene where it's in day. So those are usually the things. They're not like deleted scenes. It's more like during the shoot, it's like you watch the assembles, it's like this is a problem. This scene is like everything else. And especially like with a comedy, it's just like that balancing act. You've got to keep it kind of a, a level. And like, you know, in a comedy, if you've got one scene that like completely sucks, you're in trouble. So it's like you've got to do something about it. And like in all three of them, we have like a problem scene. It's like we've got to fix that scene. So it's usually at that stage. Rather, there's no deleted scene on any of the things that I would say I wish that was back in. Alright, last 